But a very inexpensive way to make your old, just boring frame sparkle yeah. is one of the most sparkly girls uh, I know, Orly Shani. Liking these transitions. But quick, right. can you add? Nope. Okay, good. Let's just, <laughs> let's just sparkle. You don't I'm need to add. I'm more artsy than I'm. Addy. Addy. <laughs> <laughs> or Englishy. Yeah, words are hard. hard. What um, we got here, kiddo? This, this is, is so cool. So um, Brian V, who helps us on this show all the time, mm -hmm. helps us get a lot of materials that we need, he showed me a uh, catalog for these incredible frames, and they were art deco and ornate and just beaded and chunky and super cool. And so obviously I knew there was a way that we could do it. And I'm always downtown looking at different fabric stores and they've got all these really great impactful trims that are used you know, for fashion purposes. Mm -hmm. And I knew that this, this would be perfect. I was gonna say, what palace did you raid to exactly. find these things? I mean, yeah. this looks like it's something off of a runway. I know, and you know what, really that's actually what you want to consider when you're looking for trims, is you kind of want to look in almost like the bridal section okay. um, to find these trims. That's where you're gonna find really beautiful, big beading ones. Mm -hmm. um, the place I went to is a place called Target Trimmings, and they sell online as well. So we're gonna put up the website for you guys so you can look and hopefully find some of these identical ones. So basically all, right. all we need is trim, and frames. Yes. And glue. And glue. And you want, when you're considering your frame, you want a flat surface. So try not to find a frame that has like a beveled edge or is even mm. rounded because these trims are all flat. Okay. So they're not going to go around a rounded edge very well. So you want a nice flat frame. Wood? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Right. Wood, metal, whatever, but just okay. nice and flat. And the width is just going to depend on the amount of trim you want to use. So if we come over here and look at the completed versions, you can see for this big chunky one, there's multiple different things in there because it was really wide. Now yeah. it creates an opportunity for tons of texture and tons of creativity. Creativity, yeah. but you also need that many more materials. Whereas this little one down here. My sister and Blake Aww. right there. I just did uh. a little bit of trim and some buttons. Oh my gosh, so, I love that picture. So really easy. So first what you're gonna do is take your trim and decide on how you wanna place it. I decided I wanted this metal one in the center and then I wanted to use this on top. Oh, I love it. So what I did was I cut down this trim and took two rows off of it. That way it was a little bit thinner. Okay. okay? What do you so need, first, a diamond cutter? Like how do you no. get through this stuff? Just Sir, to... it's just mesh. Careful for spoke. Wow. And see, so look, when you cut it, it's not over. gonna Let fall apart, is it? What do you see? So can you, it's almost, it's almost harder, it's easier to see here, actually. Can you see the little white netting in between? Oh. It's just little netting. So you just oh. slice right through it. And it won't fall apart. And it won't fall apart. Same with this. So now I'm gonna okay. put this, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue. Start at your beginning point so that you make sure to get nice and straight, because by the time that I get this straight, this glue would have all dried. Okay. So start there, and now put a nice little layer of glue. Oh, this is such a, it makes things look really expensive. Really pretty. And I mean, yeah. think, you know, one of my favorite gifts to give at any time, but especially like during the holidays and stuff, is um, pi framed pictures. You know, pictures of, of my family, pictures of me with friends that I give to them. And this makes that gift even more special because you're giving them this frame, Something that's which is made, like. Which is one of a kind. Of work. Yeah. Well, what about work. the, like you did, where you had different, you put like these things. These yes. So guys, if you find things like this, these are appliques, these are meant obviously for clothing as well. You wanna anchor these in specific places. So consider doing them on your four corners, like I've done here, or on your center top. So that's sort of the place that makes the most sense for one of these. Um, consider that. And then otherwise, you know, it's really just a matter of layering the types of colors. If you look at this beaded trim, how incredible is this? And when you look at it really close up, um, Ken came in and he's like, I thought for a minute you beaded that whole thing. And I, right. was, like, and I was like, it's just this trim and you just, I folded just it over. It you can see even on the top here, I just wrapped it around. I could so, see it, you know, from a photographer's standpoint, especially the one, that, not that the picture doesn't work, but if you had a really exquisite shot, big, beautiful yeah. wedding gown dress, oh, yeah. shot in a studio or something, that frame would be ridiculous. Exactly. Is so Debbie just, doing, she, are you DIYing right now? This is very what? calming. I it don't is. know, but it feels wow. really, it really is, okay. you guys. And this is a great nice. way you can potentially use some of your leftover trims. So really be creative. You can chop these all up. They How just much? cut right apart. They're about, I'd say, 30 bucks, depending on the size. Oh my like gosh. The bigger ones are around $30. Yeah. Little one is much less. Yeah. If you went to go buy one of these, I've seen them before, oh, upwards yeah. of $100, $150. Yeah. 